Welcome to my series of guides for combat achievements. We'll be looking at how to do the sub 36s sporty task. Assuming max gear, the RNG is going to be a 3 out of 10. You have a 1 in 3 chance of success with a tick perfect method, and a 1 in 4 chance of success with a method that allows for a few ticks to be missed. With the budget gear, the chance does go down, but the challenge rating I give is based on max gear. With a tick perfect simple budget setup, which has stuff like fire cape, dragon boots, fury, no legs, etc. The odds are still as good as 1 in 13 though, so it still shouldn't take too long to get. For a version of simple budget setup that lets you miss a couple ticks, it's a 1 in 17 chance. Skill wise, the method is a 4. There's no big armor switches, just gotta try not to lose ticks, switching between weapons, and other than delaying one tick after defeating the last flower, you're always attacking right away. I will be showing both a tick perfect method and a method that allows you to miss a couple ticks for both the max gear setup and the budget setup in case you'd rather have a slightly lower success rate in exchange for far more room for error. Now for the gear, here is the max gear setup. Inventory wise, bring your fastest reset teleports, I teleport to Nardo to get spec back, and then farming cape teleport back here. But you can also use a POH pool to restore spec, or tell you to Ferox and Clave to restore spec. You can also get back to the farming guild with a skills necklace, or CIR fairy ring, or battlefront teleport. Other than that, you just need super combats, ideally divine, and semi brew if you have them to boost up to 120 attack for more accuracy. Book of the Dead and runes for thralls and death charge. The rest will be whatever weapons you need, along with a blowpipe for flowers, although darts work as well. For max gear, we use max melee with scythe, claws, and chally. The method that allows for a few ticks lost doesn't bring chally. For budget setup, we use whip, dds, chally, bgs. The method that allows for a couple ticks to be lost doesn't bring bgs. Now for a method. First, we're going to describe how the fight works, and then all you need to know for the different methods is how many hits of each weapon you do. One thing I want to mention first is that some combat achievements will work with the exact time mentioned, and some will work only for below the time mentioned despite having the exact same wording in the achievement. For a sporty, gain exactly 36 seconds counts. If Ajax ever changes this, I will try to put an update with a pinned YouTube comment, as this would mean you no longer want to do the tick perfect method, and will need to do a method that lets you lose a few ticks. Also, one quick note, you can trade in your spare spirit seeds to the farming guildmaster for seed packs, which you can get his sporty seeds from. Seems like a lot of people are unaware of this, but it's an easy way to get his spory seeds quickly. Okay, so here's how the fight works. You start the fight with blowpipe or darts equipped. Start spam clicking the flowers while waiting for it to start. You will always one shot them, just attack and move to not lose ticks between flowers. Then, once you defeat all the flowers, switch to your melee weapon, and you need to wait one tick before you attack a spory, as it will be invulnerable to damage and null your attack if you do not wait one extra tick. Then, just attack until more flowers spawn and repeat. Thralls must be summoned after the fight starts. If you summon the Thrall before the fight starts, your Thrall won't be there. Also, make sure you use your death charge only after you've used a special attack up. If a fight is too slow, you can teleport out and try again so you don't waste your Hesporty Seed. You want to end on a really big hit, as we don't care how slow of a weapon for the last hit is, since if we don't finish off a boss, we teleport. If you have a unique account of limited gear and want to make your own method, just make sure all the melee attacks, ignoring the last attack you do, adds up to 26 ticks or less. Okay, now you're ready to learn the methods. Let's start with a max gear tick perfect method, a 1 in 3 success rate. Okay, so start by spam clicking to blowpipe the flowers. Once we get them all blowpiped, we'll wait a tick before doing the claw spec, and remember we're doing claw, chally, scythe, 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 chally. Now as flowers spawn again, so we get back to blowpiping, and now that we've used some special attack up, we can use the depth charge finally. So now we still have three Scyphus to do. There's one. Once again, we wait a tick after killing the flower. Two. Okay, flower spawn. Get to blowpiping. So now we're going to have one more Scyphus to do. And I actually make a mistake here. I Scyphe right away. So as you can see here, the damage is nulled. I messed up. But we hit big Chally at the end and get the time anyways. So this would have been a 36 flat. But because I messed up and went a tick early, it's a 35.4. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. I'm actually showing my reset process here. So I tally out. I get spec back and then teleport back here with a farming cape. As you can see, it's pretty quick. It just took a few seconds and we're already back in, ready to do another attempt. So very quick to reset this, fortunately. Ignore that for all over there, I shouldn't be there. <laughs> anyway, so for claw, claw, quad scythe, we're going to do our attack to four of them. Wait a tick, claw, 
Claw again. You see, I spawned a Thrall during the Flower uh, defeating. But you can spawn a Thrall whenever you're comfortable with. So yeah, I defeat the four Flowers. Wait a tick. Scythe. So remember, it's two Claws, four Scythe, so three Scythes left. Flower spawn though. So we go blow piping them now. Once again, we wait a tick. And Scythe. Two Scythe hits left. And we kill on the third. We still had a whole Scythe hit left. So we really destroyed that. 30.6. Very, very free achievement if you have max gear. Anyways, let's move on to a budget gear now. So this is the tick perfect budget gear setup. As you can see, we'll be doing three DDS, a Godsword Smack, two Whip Hits, and a Chally. So we go. I'm actually using darts. You can just use darts if you don't have a blowpipe. So anyways, you can see there, I did actually have a Thrall and a Depth Charge at the same time. Uh, while just DDSing. So I think that's a very easy way to go about doing it. So once again, waiting a tick after you kill the last flower every single time. And we're doing our Godsword Smack. Do like a weird order. Do like Whip, Godsword Smack, Whip. And then now, once again, Flower Spawn. Throwing the darts. And now all we have left is the Chally. So we got Prey, we hit Way a Tick, Chally, and bam. We really hit big there on the Chally. And this myth is a 1 in 13. So, pretty good. If you do the... the method that allows you to miss ticks, then it's a 1 in 17, and the only difference is that you would do 3 whip hits instead of 2 whip hits with a god sword. So I won't show that because it's basically the same method. Um, yeah. But anyways, that's all the methods. Hopefully this can help you get the time. But yeah, now just for fun at the end here, I'm actually going to show you the world record method for a sporty. Um, got pretty close a few times to getting it, but it's a very, very low success rate obviously. It defeats the Hispori in 18.6 seconds and I will show an attempt where I almost got it and I'll explain what I'm doing. In case you're curious, you wouldn't really do this for a sub 36 but you know, why not? Let's show it. Oh, pause. Come on. Oh my god, that could have been it! Oh my 48 HP, we hit zero! Dude, no! <laughs> oh my god, that could have been it! I can't believe it, that could have been record. Okay, so let's slow things down here and explain what's happening. So the fight starts off as normal. Starting on this east side, on this tile. Then you'll see I click to go to that flower, skipping the one over there, and summon a Thrall on a very specific tick there. And then attack that one next, and then this flower last. So the Thrall helps attack it, causing overkill. And because the flower dies quicker, we can right away Chally and DDS the boss without waiting. And then right after the Chally, we throw next spec a flower, which lets us attack a little bit quicker. Very weird how the, uh, the front spec works, I'll explain in a second. But then here, once again, we attack in a very weird pattern to force the Thrall to give us overkill on the last one we kill. So we can have the boss be up by one tick, so we don't have to wait at one tick. And just right away, we go for the Chally. And if that lasts, so basically we're just doing DDS, Chally, Chally. That's it. That's all we're doing in this method. And that is the current world record method, which I believe Alex managed to successfully do. And I tried for a while just to get the RNG. And yeah, if you want to try it, here's the, here it is. Um, one thing to note over here, once we spawn the second set of flowers, we do the southeast one first, and then we do the northwest one. And then based on the frog's positioning, we decide where to go. Here, I go up to the northeast one first, because the frog was either on the corner or the south side. And then I do the southwest one last. If the frog was on the eastern side, then I would have done the southwest flower second last and the northeast flower last instead so that the Thrall will be in position to hit the last one. And uh, so going back to the Dragon Throne Axe spec, what it does, it's a very weird special attack, um, it lets you instantly fire it like a Gmall spec, but it resets your attack cycle to four ticks. So if I do a Chally, which has a seven tick delay, you know, I have Throne Axe spec on the next tick, which, you know, I have a six tick from delay remaining on the Chally, the Thronax will reset it down to four ticks. Conversely, if you did a blow up hit into a Thronax, you know, you have a two tick delay. From the next tick, you do a Thronax spec while you have a one tick delay left on the blowpipe, and your Thronax would reset to four ticks. So you only ever want to do a Thronax spec after a big hit. Uh, also note, in the case of uh, Hispori here, we actually 
purposely wait a tick before for not expecting a flower, because the flower isn't ready yet. So keep that in mind as well. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Good luck on your sub 36 exploring. And be sure to subscribe and like if you want to see more guides like this, which I will be making in the near future. Anyways, see you next time. Goodbye. Come on. Oh my god, that could have been it. Oh!